I'm in Oklahoma for a few days on my way down to Texas and the plan is to film a little bit from the first few rides and put it together into one video. I will be riding trials, enduro, going mountain biking, and driving RC. Hopefully you guys will enjoy coming along for a small part of these solo rides. It is very windy today so I went into the woods to get some sections in. Now I'm out in this almost cave type feeling area. It's pretty unique, pretty fun to ride in. I just got a section going and rode it once. Now I'll bring you guys along. I am starting in first gear here. Got a loose corner before a small splatter. Now pretty steep down. Gotta set my front on that second ledge. Continue on down. Don't want to overshoot this one there. An easy up, but just kind of a cool line. Bit of a technical setup. Just gotta try to get right on that point there. Use the kicker where my front tire's at to splatter that undercut. Feels pretty good there. There we go. Now, a bit of a flaky rock. Get on that angle. Get over that other rock between the two loose ones on top. Watch the front end. Around that beer can. Now we got something pretty interesting. Big wall up to the top there, kind of start right, fade left. I messed it up the first time, I got too far right. It's a little bit wet, lost traction. So hopefully, stay a little bit further left. Maybe a bit more momentum and keep it clean. This will be a second gear hit here. There we go. Don't want to overshoot that one either. But that's a clean. Okay, this splatter called me out. Perfect kicker. It's a little bit far, but I'm still leaning towards second gear because of the undercut. I think it'll be slightly easier to get the lift. Third would make the distance a little bit easier, but the new second gear on the 22 has quite a bit, so I think it'll make it in second. Oh, easy. Okay, not really easy, just easier than I expected. Now, just for testing purposes, let's try third. Huh, I'm not sure if it was really easier or harder. I felt like I pulled just a little more to make sure I got the height, but it's more so just different than it is completely easier or harder. It comes down to personal preference a little bit. All right, the wind has died down a bit. Hopefully it doesn't come through on the camera. This looks kind of cool. Can't touch the water. Okay, let's see if I can step up the can't touch the water game rear tire across those two. Oh yeah. Here's a tight and technical one. Feels like you're gonna hit your feet everywhere. Lots of angles in here. Let's see if I can make this turn head up back. So much grip. Oh, wow. All right. Probably enough trials footage for this video. Let's switch to some hard enduro. Come back quick. There we go. I hit it to the right on that smaller step. I'm wondering if I can hit it straight on. Definitely a lot more commitment. Gotta bring the front end up quicker and higher, but it should go. Wow. Felt like I was barely gonna make it, but then it held pressure on top and wheeled really out of it. So, what do I know? Here's another sharp rock one. Not gonna try to clean this one though. It's actually pretty sketchy to do. 
on this bike anyway. And for me, I want to make sure I'm set up decent. I don't want to slide and fall down there. So I get the rear right at the edge. Big angle up this. And I'm up. Not worried about dabs on that one. I'm seeing a pivot to splatter, maybe. This works could be pretty cool got a kicker onto this one hold it on the rear tire off of that rear tire there and on top oh, a little sloppy but made it work there we go i'll take that it was a bit hard to hold the wheelie at the very top, but pretty fun line there. Ooh, I see creek. I think this is another one. Well, I was really looking forward to riding and filming in this creek on the enduro bike. I've rented it on a trials bike. Gets pretty good down there, but I can't get down there right now with those new down trees. So I'll just ride the top piece. Pretty good track today. A lot of leaves right here. It's all good if you stay on the rock. Probably won't look like much since it's on a hill, but it's a pretty good one. This is a pretty tricky climb here, starting at this off camber, trying not to spin too much so you can build some speed up for that ledge and little bank before it flattens out and it gets real steep. Another bank with a rock at the top. I might be able to make it from here, but I don't feel like falling off of that right now. Made it with some dabs, but you know what? It's hard to enduro, right? Good ride. I am somewhere in Oklahoma, and I came across this giant pile of big grippy rocks. I walked through and found a line through it. There are some spots that are pretty risky, some big exposure, and a couple tricky moves to do but there's something about riding something like this that has most likely never been ridden looks like people come out here to hike and enjoy the view so i want to ride it and enjoy the view too hopefully i can get through it clean we'll see what happens but i probably won't talk much because it's going to take a lot of focus and i don't want to mess this one up Oh, wow, that was kind of crazy feeling. I have not done anything like that in quite a while. That exposure, scary when you're not used to it, or maybe even if you are, but definitely haven't ridden anything like that for way too long. So it's good to scare yourself a little bit once in a while, right? So I figured out the best thing to do after riding is RC. It's a ton of fun, and it turns out a lot of places I go to ride are also awesome for RC, especially here for this rig. Got hills to hit everywhere. This one's gonna need a bit more speed, bounce up the rocks, and then keep on the gas through the loose stuff. Okay, this one is huge, 
gonna be hard to film. Maybe I can just run behind. Oh no! I could not get this one last time. Let's see if today is the lucky day. Not there. Just end up looping out there. Oh, I think that's the way. Gotta get to about here. Try to kick off of that, but you spin a lot, so it's not easy. Oh! Oh, there it is, yeah. Whoa, hey there. Gotcha. There we go. Thing just digs in. Looks like a perfect log to ride. Not sure how it's going to get off of there, but it's nice and wide. Fits the axles well enough. Maybe I'll just try to, nope. Hey, that'll work. All right, I'm gonna keep driving here for a bit, but I think I have enough footage since I have some from yesterday as well that I'll cut to now. There is a wicked nice double step here. I did it once last time, but the timing is really tricky. You don't have a lot of room between the two. We'll get that second ledge. Okay, I need two hands for this one. Oh, that was sweet. Perfect stuff. Hold the front end, bounce right up. Something awesome happened the last time I was here and I was able to hit this straight on, pivot 90 and climb up the log a little bit. So see if I can get that lucky today. Okay, got pretty lucky, but that was pretty sweet. The vehicle is just a bit too wide up here. No great way off, but pretty cool line, I'd say. Looks like a nice jump here, too. Oh, yeah, beauty. 